Welcome to our dining room. We're going to be drawing a hippopotamus. And hippo starts with the letter H. Which makes what sound? Ha! 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 That's right. It's going to be fairly simple using whatever supplies you have around the house. What are some, some supplies that they could use for their art today? Markers, colored pencil, colored pencils, watercolor paints, pastels, crayons, chalk. That's right. You can use any of those. Charcoal. That's right. And we're going to first start off with our hello. So a few of you have made comments or let your teachers know that you're tuning in. And I wanted to say hi and give a special thank you to Perla and Colton and Elizon. Alizon. Alizon. And Alan. And Alan, that's right. And we are going to start off like we do every video with a piece of gratitude. I am really grateful for all of the people and the energy that goes into providing our community for free lunches during this uncertain time that we're in. We enjoyed a free lunch um, that people were standing out inside, outside in the rain in order to provide for us today. So we really appreciated that. That would be cool. Kai, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my, for my hot tea that I had about an hour ago, which is now not hot. Yes. Okay. And Kalani. And I'm grateful for the slinky I got yesterday, and it's right here. Nice. Okay, are we ready to get started? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens during our videos is we'll walk you through step by step using something to draw with. You can use a pencil. We're using... Markers. Markers. Sharpies. Sharpies. And um, while we're coloring in, we'll share with you some interesting facts that we learned about whatever we're drawing. Today it's uh, hippos, as well as a few jokes, right? Yes. Okay. So first we'll start off with the um, face, the snout of the hippo, which is an oval shape in the middle of our page. So we're going to go ahead and go down and around. And sometimes we make mistakes in art, and is that okay? What do you think, boys? Yes. Yeah, because the most important thing is to have what? Fun. That's right, have fun. Now what we're going to do is do two little hills for the nostrils, one on this side and one on the other side, and then we're going to complete that oval. And if you already drew right here little lines to make a complete oval, that's fine too. Now we're going to make two little arches, like a rainbow, one inside each nostril. And right above the nostril on the inside, we're going to do two circles, one on each side for the outside of the eyes. And then we're going to draw another circle on the inside, and we're not going to color that part in. We're going to leave it white. We're just going to color in the outside circle. Right? Okay. And now we're gonna work on the rainbow arch from outside one nostril, and it's gonna end on the outside of the other nostril. Are you ready for that rainbow? Wild one, wild one looks like an alien with giant ears. Awesome, I can't wait to see it. Orc looks like, orc looks like an alien in, um, in its UFO that, ha that has light, that has Nice, I see that, I, I, I can picture it. Now we're gonna do two more rainbows and those are gonna be for the ears on either side. One and two. And then we're gonna do a small one inside. Now we'll go down and work on the smile. So if you see, there's just a little line that comes out kind of a curve line and then a U shape on the top. And that's for the smile. So we're gonna go ahead and go there and I'll go here to make our smile. And then I'm gonna add the teeth. And the teeth, if you look at where the eyes are, if you go directly down, that's where the teeth are. Hi, it's a frog with a worm sticking out of it with ears. Nice, and I have two rectangles. One, two, one for each tooth. So I'm gonna go find my eyeball, 
go directly down to the bottom of my mouth, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. <coughs> then I'm going to find my other eyeball, go directly down, and draw another rectangle. The next step is going to be the body. If you see, this is a C shape right here and a backwards C shape. So I'm going to come down, but not all the way to the bottom of my paper because I want to be able to do a rectangle or a boxy U shape for my legs, my two legs. So I'm going to do um, a C to about right there. It's probably about the same width as the snout for the tummy. And then I'm going to do a backwards C, like that. And then I'm going to go straight down. And maybe in the midsection of the tummy, I'm going to go over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go straight down and I'm going to go over so that there's a gap still in between, right? And then I'm going to go straight up so that I meet the edge of the other line for both the legs on the inside, and then a straight line over to connect it. Now I'm going to do the toes, and the toes look like little rainbows or an M and an N next to it. So we're going to do toes. One rainbow, two rainbows, three rainbows. We're going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three. And all that we have left before we color is the arms. And those are two, it's almost like a capital E without the middle line going through it, right? So it's a box shape and then a reversal of that on the other side. But it's going to come out from the tummy kind of in line with the bottom of the tooth. So I'm going to go ahead and go out and in and out and in. And then I'm going to do my three rainbow sideways. Those are for the nails. One, two, three. And now we are done with our hippo. And some fun facts we learned about hippos is that they live in where? They live in the, they live in Africa. They do live in Africa. And what do they, they need to stay wet. They live in swamps um, and swamps. rivers. They need, to, they need to stay, um, stay wet just like, because they, live, they need to stay sweat, wet. wet because, because, um, because the water is like a sunscreen for the sun. Really? And the mud is, right? Yeah, and the sunscreen yeah. and the water. And what can they outrun? Because they they look like they're fat and slow, but they can outrun something we know really well. What can they outrun? Humans. humans. They can outrun humans. Can you believe it? And they're extremely what? Beans are really Big. slow. Uh -huh. They're very dangerous too, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Um, and what do they eat? Do you remember? Grass. They eat grass. I'm going to start out coloring my hippo and I'm going to make it with watercolor. Um, I'm going to make it um, him like a grayish blue color. What color are you guys going to make your hippo? Kind of grayish. Um, I'm going to use silver and gray. Silver and gray. And Kai's going to use gray. And I'm going to avoid painting in the teeth. I'm just going to go and around the, the teeth and the toes. And the fingernails. The fingernails. Yeah. We're, we're, we can probably look up. We could probably look, you could probably look up if you really wanted to go online. Yeah, you could look up more information online, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have some jokes that we learned. You guys remember them? Um, yeah. You have any hippo jokes? Yeah. Um, what is the hippo's what is the hippo's favorite music? What's a hippo's favorite music? Um, hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Nice. What was the other joke that you found? What What is What What is the name of the hip the hippo transformer? 
What's the name of the hippo transformer? Hippo, hippo Optimus Prime. <laughs> That's a good one too. Those are fun. I'm gonna leave his cheeks white for right now because I'm gonna go back over and make them pink. Oh. Think that they're cute when they have pink cheeks. What what did what did the what did the grape say when the hippo stepped on it? What? What did the grape say when the hippo stepped on it? What did it say? It just made a little wine. <laughs> Just made a little wine. And That's cute. In the forest, we watched a lot of um, one funny hippo video. It was so gross and so weird. Because, because, because Kai said it was just a video of a hippo um, farting. He except that he, it turned out to be fart, farting, his tail was popping, and was pooping. Yeah. 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 That was gross. So the lesson we learned is. Watch with caution when you search up hippopotamus toots. Because it can get a little out of hand. A little out of hand. A little toots. Some stuff might go flying. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to add in the pink cheeks. So I'm going to mix a lot of water with my red in order to hopefully get a pinkish color. It's going to be very light. Give him some rosy, rosy cheeks. Uh -huh. And then, well, use my napkin to pick up some of that extra paint. There we go, with his rosy cheeks and maybe some pink in his ears. And maybe you wanna put him near water or near the grass. Did we talk about what they eat? Oh, they eat grass. They eat grass. I just went on to the um, head. You, okay, you're on the head. I'll put in some water and some grass. Since they love water and grass. And I'll color in that water down here. It was just, I just made a, maybe a pond in there. And I'm gonna go back over the grass that I did with some green. We have really been blessed with this experience. Um, what we get from this is not only time together, uh, every day scheduled in order to create something as a family, but a lot of you have been reaching out and sharing with us on social media um, pictures of your art as well as um, things that you are grateful for. And it's made us smile and laugh and really feel as though we're connected with the community that we are building. So we and, really appreciate this experience. And I'm really happy that our friend Aiden, um, when I put Star Wars on my um, elephant, yeah. he was inspired and um, tried to do something. And it turned out to be the best star, and it was really good. Yeah, <laughs> you liked being able to see Aiden's work too, huh? But that Death Star, Death star was really... Good. The Death Star was really good, too. It was really neat to see. Yeah, yeah we appreciated that. And it was eating something, too, right? What was it eating? What? I don't oh, yeah, peanut. The elephant was eating a peanut in Aiden's picture. A peanut. That, yeah, that was cool. Huh? It's done. He said it was eating a peanut. A peanut. Done. Oh, let's see. I was gonna put some clouds in there. Wow, look at that. Makai? That's awesome. I, I, I love it you put a grass and pond and you're ahead of, a step ahead of me. You put the sky in there. That's great. Well, Lance, how are you doing over there, bud? Good. Okay. I spurred Kalani. Oh, Kalani added a bird 
in his? Mm-hmm. Awesome. I'm supposed to say that. All right. I don't know what else I could add. I guess I could add a flower. Well, we're going to wait for koans. Wait, are you waiting for me? Yeah, we're gonna wait for you to share with everybody yours too. Then how are you drawing? I'm just thinking of things I can add into the picture while we wait. But you're still drawing. I'm painting now. Oh, I yeah, I added a little bit with my marker as an outline, so mm -hmm. it can be for my guide. All right. Are you all done? Mm -hmm. Um, I just need to make one thing. Kai's all done. Yeah. Oh, you did do an awesome bird in the corner, Kalani. So the next letter that we're going to be doing is I, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I says its name and it says I. Mm -hmm. I wonder what we could draw for I. That's part of the fun of this too, is Maybe thinking of things draw, to draw. We can draw an eye. Yep. An eye, like the letter I or an eyeball? Eyeball. Or just draw an eye. Like a really. The eye. goal has been to try to keep it uh, animal centered so that we are um, sharing with you something that um, is fun and we can easily find facts on and hopefully draw on a level that is uh, friendly for the whole family. Um, I'm also thinking about drawing some, um, doing some pictures based on just shapes so that we can really um, open this up, if not already, to the really younger groups, um, toddlers, so that they can also enjoy and participate in an academic way. But that will be on a different thread with okay. different um, art tutorials. I'm going to be um, like one second. All right. He's exactly. almost done. One. One second, okay. Exactly one. 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 All right, here we go. Wow, I love it. And, and, tweet, tweet. Uh, and when we put the pictures on the thread, um, we're going, I'm just going to finish the background. Okay, he's going to still put in a background to his. And then this one was mine. What? And what we, what one of our friends out there did was they made greeting cards, right? So you could actually start off with a quarter paper, fold it in half so you know where your midpoint is. So you would take a paper, fold it in half, right? Make it half of that, so a quarter piece. And then if you're, you guys do your art on one side, then you can write a message on the other. And after you get done with all of these, there's going to be 26 videos or more. You would have 26 greeting cards to spread love and joy to people in your life. So um, that's just another thought, too. Anything else you'd like to say before we say toodaloo? Uh, no, no. No, okay. Bye. Bye.